Hey, how's it going, guys? JT Red Eye here, back with another episode. And I just messed up my hair right there. And I think I did some off camera work, I did. And boom. We got, uh, this, this is the first room. We got our nice little aquarium, and we got our basic essentials. And over here, this is gonna be the farm room. I just have some basic food here. Um, I'm gonna eventually go up. There's a plant I, I want. It just produces a bunch of water when you um, when you eat it. So that's the one I'm looking for. This is nothing, and this is the storage room, and it has our modification station. And I went took the liberty of upgrading up to that, upgrading these. Yeah, so I move faster and I swipe harder. So. I also, I didn't show you inside the chest, but I went ahead and gather, gathered a bunch of resources. Just went around and gra gathered as many as I possibly could. Just grabbed all the scrap metals, all the different ores. Ugh, I keep forgetting. I need the battery to go in the back. Then I climb in. There we go. So today, I just want to start off by... I want to start off by welcoming all of you to, actually no, I need the radiation suit to get that one, to the newest episode of Subnautica, and take this time right now to subscribe if you are new, and like the video, and leave some comments into how I could increase production quality. Obviously I don't have my blue screen up because it's not there as you can see, but the reason it's not is because I am using it as a bedspread right now. So you get to look at my little pug picture and my nice gray wall. For today's agenda is I'm going to get the radiation suit. I'm going to go on board the Aurora and I'm just going to whenever these things come around come around I'm just going to do them. I did gather, I did grab all of my things to do some scavenging inside of Rex. So if I see one, I'll also be doing that. Let's go ahead and find this high priority person. See if he's still alive, which we all know he is not. I'm going to do one more thing since I am also in the mushroom biome. Is where are you? I believe it's right here. Don't be attacking me, Bone Shark. Where is it? Somewhere right here. Look at the little guy. He's so cute. This is the easiest cuttlefish egg to get because it's literally in a almost completely peaceful, peaceful biome, and you just swim and you get it. The only problem is the actual habitat for you to grow it up in is not existent yet. Well, it's existent, you just can't craft it yet unless you go down to the Grand Reef, which is coincidentally where the other cuttlefish egg spawns. And I know of a third one. I know of a third one, but it is in dunes, which I do not intend to go to anytime soon. So, I guess it's just going to stay there forever and ever. Well, probably not forever and ever, because at some point... I'm not entirely sure. Do I need to actually go to the dunes for anything? I don't think so, because I know there's a lot of resources there. But, like, you don't actually have to go there to go to any of the other places. So, I might not even go there. Because all I know is that there's a scary, scary reaper. We, we've found that, and I don't want anything to do with him. External temperature approaching critical levels. Whoa. What? No. Well, goodbye forever. I haven't even gotten a chance to name you, but you're already dead. 
Good thing I don't have any mods on you yet, so... Uh, just a minor setback. Minor setback that sets us back quite a bit. I mean... Let's look for a positive side. I got this beacon that I didn't really want. Oh, that's... I guess that's a positive. Okay, that's that's a minor setback that sets it back quite a bit. We have a landing site for you. That's well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Well, that's great. I need to ride over to the other island, but I don't have enough. I don't have any um, sort of vehicle to get there. Now, let's see. What do I need to build a sea moth again? I don't even remember where my... Where that thing is to build the sea moth is. Like the... Um, I completely forget what it's called. The constructing... Oh, mobile vehicle bay. So I need titanium, glass, lubricant, and lead. Come to me, Seamoth. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know what what else to expect, but that that was great. You know what? It, it, I wouldn't be so salty if it was something normal like a reaper or me running over to me running into like a school of fish. But no, it was the fact that I died to or it, uh, the fact that I lost it to a game glitch that just it just gets me just infuriated. Anyway, let's do some home improvement. I figured that I should do some on camera just so it's not all completely off camera and then you guys come in and be like what why did you why did you not do this on camera we're outraged we're never gonna watch you again okay another thing I wanted to do self scan Okay, well, the game told me to do that when I was working off camera, so there you go. Now, what I had for the idea out here is... I'm gonna go turn off that light. Can I get out of it? There we go. Turn off this light. It's annoying. I want to do grow beds all along the outside here. So, oh, I have enough for a bioreactor, actually. Do I not have exterior grow beds? Okay, I guess I don't. Oh, exterior grow beds. Put one there. I'm gonna put one on all four sides and I'm just gonna grow everything. Yeah. Okay, shark, don't be don't be doing whatever you is. Don't be doing whatever it is that you're attacking for because I will not have it at my base. You know what? It, I haven't been attacked here yet, but like one thing that they should do just to make it a bit more challenging for when you actually do move out of the shape the safe shallows that they should make it so Creatures will go and attack the support beams or like there's like another creature that tries and like latches on and like builds a home out of the the thing here like like the wrecks and stuff like it's, the fish move into sunken pirate ships. Why don't they move into well, I guess they can't bite through steel. I'm assuming but that's that's just 
one thing that could make the game better. Then you have to build like defense systems to keep the stuff off or manually go out and always be repairing it. Just to make it a bit more challenging out in the other places. But let's plant some of the stuff. Okay, here we go. And the first grow bed is going to be you, you. I'll just do that. And then. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Go back in there. I want to collect your seeds. There we go. Put all of that in there. So then we have that growing. You know when you just don't feel like swimming a couple feet to the left? Yeah, it's going to be me and I'm going to plant some creep vine seeds. You know what you can do? You know what you can do, Stalker? Just, you can just die. Yeah, I bet that hurts being burnt alive. That's what you get. So now, what else am I gonna, I'm gonna put just some of these in here, just so I don't have to swim over them. Besides, they look kind of cool. So, let's just give that a toss in there. What else can I do to make the pl place look a bit nicer? Oh, that makes this look more like a green greenhouse in here. Well, I don't understand how how just titanium can plant. Oh, I need more titanium. I feel like I'm gonna use up all my resources just wastefully decorating up my place. But things need to happen. It's a necessity to have a cool looking area so then these little plants are just for the water plants you just I it's just a thing I do you'll see now for this room I think I don't need a bioreactor I have solar panels so this room is gonna be my bedroom which I do not have a bed right and I don't know where to get one of those I have some glass. I should start putting glass up in this place. Let's grab all of my quartz I have. Quartz. Grab all of my scrap metal. Okay, so now just here and there I'm gonna put some glass patches. Just to see out of my house. Because I don't want a giant box. So this is going to be my one room. I'm going to put... That's actually a bad spot to put a window with the grow bed. Grow bed. I'll put another one right there. Uh, I can kind of see out. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of that grow bed. Because I would rather have a full window to look out. So now we got this cool little area and I don't have any more glass so that will have to do later on I'll I don't think I'll put any in the storage room this I just wanted to let some light in and plus just be able to look out so now let's drink up some of this water Vital signs stabilizing. there we go so in my room, I'm going to put a desk. My desk is going to go right there. My commander chair is, can I, are you kidding me? Why do, why does it move so slow? There we go. Commanding chair. That's going to be at my desk. My bed is going to be right here. So that means I am going to put another chair. Put that chair there, and I'm going to put this chair just to stare. Stare out my window. I'm going to put it kind of sideways because it's a swivel chair. I'm just going to 
You just look out. It's it's good. I got a little chair. So now, what else am I gonna do? On this wall, this wall, I'm gonna put grass bed for now. And that's my room. Or you know what? I'm gonna put a little plant. Whenever I have time, I'm gonna, or whenever I find a plant to put down, I'm gonna put a plant right there. But this is my bedroom. <laughs> it's kind of a waste of a room, but oh well. And I can't really add anything out. I don't have... I haven't went out exploring enough. Okay, I just figured out what I can do. I can do the radiation suit. I was sitting here like... Oh, I have to wait 20 minutes and be tied down be or before the even storyline will progress. That kind of sucks. And I'm just like... Oh, I can build cool things. Just take a gander. So I'm going to build... Radiation suit. Okay, so I'm gonna be quick on the ship. I just wanna not really gonna even look around or anything. I'm just gonna mostly go in there just to fix the reactor. Just while we're waiting. And I'll go back there in a later date and loot the place. But like the game will tell me when to go there. So I can punch in the Captain Quarter code. And I don't really feel like and we don't really have the time to go through like a swift or uh, do like a full look into the place. But I'm definitely staying clear of right there because we all know it's over there. Very, very spooky, scary things. Not not spooky, scary skeletons. Far more spookier and scarier. Uh oh, I don't want to drop that. There we go. So let's just gather things while we're here. Oh, open. Anything new? This is just an empty room. What's the point? Where's my flashlight? Yeah, there's literally... Oh, here we go. And now we are in another room with more nothing. Why? Why do you do this to me, game? First you make me lose my first one and another, or my first sea moth and another one. I don't even want to look in that direction. It's, a, it's the stuff of nightmares over there. Stupid reapers. This is the place to go and get scrap metal for next time I want to get stuff. I just gotta keep an eye on the time. One person did tell me to not... To just not go. To go to the other drying thing and apparently the ship survives. But I think the cutscene would play anyway of it just, of it just exploding. So like... I'm just gonna go do what the story tells me to. Oh, I didn't bring a fire extinguisher. Is that gonna be a problem? I'm not sure. But we're... I'm fairly certain the front of the ship's safe. Yeah, so it's like I'm saving the world is what is what she's saying. Okay, so let's go over here. These stupid crabs. I like how there's like I like how she's like, oh there's nothing. Nothing can sustain life on this thing unless unless you clear it out. But don't worry, these crabs that are very annoying that everyone hates will be there just because they can survive radiation die 
Yeah, they can survive radiation and fire. So they get to be here. But nothing else can. Ooh, a battery. Okay, I'm just hoping that the fire extinguisher is here. Because I don't have time to go back to get it. And looking at the clock... Yeah, looking at the clock, I might not even have time to make it all the way to there. But I'm going to try. Fire extinguisher. Get out of my way. Very awesome person coming through. Alright. Yeah, so... I kind of don't know in what order to, to put those things in. So I'm just playing random ones. But like... If you, if you want to, you can just... Um, YouTube... Like, different things for it. Because there's, um... There's like different, like the storyline goes, like the people on the island were the first ships to crash here by the gun. And I'm assuming the Aurora was shot down as well. Just because the precursors that are here are trying to contain the, the, um, the virus. So that's why everything's the way it is. Data book. Codes and clues. Um, cargo bay, 1455, or 1454, 1454, open up, let's make this quick, can't stop to even open up chests, I'll just open them up on a later date, whoop, Oh, this is going to be close, I think. This might have been a mistake, but we're pushing through it. Don't worry. I also might not, or may or may not know where to go. Here's the axe. Ah, here we go. So let's repair this. Local radiation at maximum allowable levels. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Okay, how about this? If we if we miss if we miss out on what it actually looks like, I'll make it so you guys won't miss out on it because I'll just play the clip of what's supposed to happen when you go to the beach. So don't worry about it. But I'll try and go as fast as I can. I kind of completely forget how to get out of this place. I know there's another way that isn't the way that that was. But I'll worry about that. 10 minutes. I think we can do it in 10 minutes. Oh, then we have to get there too. Okay, I think I can do this. Get off the ship in, um, in uh, three minutes. The ship can be off in three minutes, and I'll still have like, I'll still have some time to get over there. Jump in the sea moth and immediately just go. Get, get off there. Get, 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 get. That kind of scared me. So two more. Last one's always a hard hard one to find. One. I'm assuming it's up top. Q. 
keyword assuming. You make me have to go all the way over here to get up. This guy sw spends all of his time swimming. You'd think he'd have core strength to be able to pull himself up. Um, nope. Come on. Game, you're really, really putting us in a tight spot. Really, really putting us in a tight spot here, game. There it is. Get out of here. So we'll do this. Okay. We're good. Let's get out of here now. Alright. Uh, do I have more health? I do. We're good. We're fine. Get the fire out of here. So now let's go to the other direction. No, not that direction. This way. And... Click. Laser cutter. There we go. Come on, come on! Race against the clock. And then I believe there's... There's like this thing where you go up, and then you can jump into the water at the very top. Come on. Grab it! Alright. Swim, swim, swim! Now grab you. Alright. We still have enough time. We're still on schedule. Okay, can we go up? Up the ladder. Don't, I don't care about the awesome prawn suits. I guess I can't climb up that ladder. I have to climb up here. Whoop. Yep, to make those noises. The whoop. Okay, um. Is there a way out here? Oh, this is all the different quarters. I don't need the quarters. I need the way out. Come on, don't do this to me. Guess it's this way. Oh, you take fall damage now. That's nice. Okay, um. I like how there's just electricity being pumped into the water. My guy's just like. Yeah, that's my everyday. I eat electricity for breakfast. I need my flashlight. Um, really, really wish I knew where I was going. Integrating new I don't want to repair the door. I want to break the door. Okay, we're falling behind schedule. Oh no. Um, what are you? Codes, codes and clues. Staff, um, cabin code 1869. 18, Uh oh. It's not the right one. Oh. No, we're not going to make it. We failed. Oh, this is this way. 
No. I don't know the code. I think we're fit. I think we. I think we can't. We're gonna miss it. Could have swore it was a straightforward path. Can I get out of this water here? Anywhere? Can I get out? Make me sw swim all the way back there. Okay, let's go back. Let's try and swim back, go up the one thing, and try and just jump out the way I should have went. No, I don't want the dive room. I want this room. Come on. Let me up. There we go. Run, 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 run. I'm still going to try and make it. There's still a small chance because the thing isn't that far away. Oh, I didn't think there'd be a way back up this way. Oh, this is kind of completely my fault if we miss it. Into the water! Okay, no reapers. That's good. That's good. Alright. Got three minutes to get to land. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Yeah. I dropped my knife. Ten, nine, eight. Oh my god! It's coming from the building. Oh. Change course. Set thrusters to full. And just like that, they are dead. No, the precursors, they couldn't be like, they couldn't be like, yo, don't park here. No, they're just like, boom, you're dead. Where'd that knife go? Don't tell me I lost the knife trying to equip it because some stupid crab was attacking me and I was trying to get to be seen. Where is it? Uh, this is just not my episode. It's, it's just not. You know what? Uh, uh, oh, now it's moving back. Let's slide. For some reason, down here. Oh, okay. It's going back into regular mode. This is the second time this episode. The game has just been like, nope. Screw you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna end it here, guys. Just. I just can't take this game anymore. So if you like this video, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see me suffer some more on Subnautica the next time you tune in. And anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.